What's the most interesting thing you do, Keith? Working on three-wheeled cars. Yeah, that's it's a bit <laughs> different than normal. <laughs> okay, we are at the top secret research facility, R&D facility for the Electra Mechanica vehicles, which have become one of my, my favorite new cars because I think commute the way we commute is going to change over the years and obviously electric is the way of the future. So I think these cars are, are super cool. We drove them out here and now we're going to go and see how they're all made, put together and built. Another day in my favorite small car. So this is like the R&D production, R&D side more than production. They have a, a big factory in China where they're you know, pumping out these cars, but they bring them back to this facility so they can make sure they're performing the way they are, they're being built the way they need to be. They can tune them and like finesse them for the next year's model and, and whatnot. And I'm gonna link below to Chris's video when he went to the China factory if you're interested in seeing that, that'll be, that's in the description. Oh, love these things. Welcome to Downey Live. I'm Mike. Today we are in a Solo. It's a single seater, three wheeled electric car. And we are going to the factory where they make them. So since Electra Mechanica is actually still a small car company, they, as well as having their R&D facility here, it's also their service department. So any vehicles that they have out on the road come in here, uh, which is perfect because you're doing both R&D and service and you know, get all the updates. Oh, that's so weird. When you hit the gas hard, because it's powering a single wheel and the engine behind you, when you hit the gas to accelerate, it actually lifts your tail. Instead of most cars, it kind of sinks or pulls back. This one, it's like pushing you forward. It, it like lifts you. Okay, one of the most fascinating parts about being in this facility is you can see from start to finish how these cars are made. So over here, we have sort of the parts inventory area. So every, every little part that comes in that's involved in this build, I mean, is here from, from the screws that they need to larger parts, we have a suspension frame over there so it's, it starts as nothing it starts, it starts as this and it's going to finish as a car so i'm going to take you through this process here this is, this is fascinating to me like these are some of the bigger parts that they might have these suspension components it's going to hold a lot more to it but it, it quickly goes from that to this I'm building the front assembly. Okay. So it's the entire front sub. All I'm doing right now is locking the anti-roll bar in place. Awesome. And all these are the, the tools you need to work on yeah. this component. Everything I need is on that board, except for a few fluids and some things like that that are on the other side. But... This is where they do all the sort of the 3D mapping, uh, engineering of the vehicle on the computers, the lab. They actually have you know, some individual components here that they can take a look at, test. So it starts with this, just the shell. There's literally nothing else to it. So the actual chassis is, is this whole, the whole floor piece tube. It's a, it's a composite material that's like a honeycomb meshed with aluminum a little bit. Basically, it's the same material used in the floors of airplanes. And this whole piece weighs 45 kilograms, but if it was made out of aluminum, it would weigh 300 kilograms. So it's a huge weight saving piece, which is very important for electric vehicles because that extends the range and acceleration and all that good stuff that you want in your electric car. As we move down, we see that their vehicle slowly gets more and more built. More components are added to it. What's your name? Victoria. Hi, Victoria. I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. What are you adding here? Uh, the heater to the car. Adding the heater to the car. That's an integral part. 
especially here in Canada, especially at this time of year. We can also see at this point that the front suspension that Jason was making over there has been installed on this car, so we're making progress. Oh, cool. Okay, so they have uh, their whole customer wall up here. All the vehicles they've made from number one goes along and they have spots over here for, for up to solo number 100. So far it's filled up to number 40. That's car number 44. So I think they've, they've got a few more spots to fill in there soon, but very cool. But over here, we have the rear drivetrain put in. We're starting to see the dashboard components be put in, the front body panels on. So making good progress on the car coming together. And over here is just about done. They're doing some work on the door panels. This also has a steering wheel, seat. You know, it's 90% done at this point. And eventually it'll look like this, complete. Okay, this is a test facility with a dyno. So this machine allows them to simulate different road condi conditions up a hill, et cetera. They can do durability tests, range tests, all sorts of things just in a, in a controlled environment rather than driving out in city streets and dealing with traffic. They can, they can just get their numbers and, and track everything really clearly on this dyno. As they prep this car for testing on the dyno, this might be a good time to tell you to subscribe. It's the button down there. If it's red, click it. If it's gray, don't click it. That means you've already subscribed. And if you click it, you would unsubscribe. We don't want that. But, but I, I do this kind of thing behind the scenes, adventure vlogs every week, every week. So, so click it, come join. Okay, we'll get back to it. In case you're wondering why it has a center headlights, because the American versions are registered as a motorcycle because it has three wheels. So it needs to have a center headlight. They're going to have center headlights on the Canadian ones as well. It's cool. So interesting, car companies all have to put their cars through crash tests. So that car that's on the top row was the crash test car. And it was number, looking up at the wall here, 15, car number 15. So an electric car factory tour wouldn't be complete without explaining where the batteries go and the electric motor and everything. So I'm gonna show you on this empty shell of the car. Down here in the frame, these slots, the batteries go here. So they're low, so you have low center of gravity, and they're on the outside of the car, which really helps with the stiffness of the structure, which does help in side impact crashes, if, if that were to happen, we don't want it to. So the batteries go down here, I'll show you what that looks like. So here we have the next step, and now we have the batteries are plugged in. If we go to the third station here, over here we have the fans are installed over top of it. This is the belt that'll drive the rear tire that goes here. This is the uh, rear brake pad. And the electric motor is this right here. So you can see this is the charging port and the cables connect and they'll go down into the batteries, which will also connect to the motor. It's all, it's all in here. that they're done they're driving out the garage door this is just a teaser because I'm so excited about this car but here, here's a little all, all electric components in there there's no motor no motor like you'd expect yeah that that'll be another video come see this thing okay that's your little electric vehicle factory tour again the big factory is in China there's a really cool video of it linked down below that you can check out Otherwise, this was sort of their test production facility. Make sure everything is up to, up to snuff. That's how you say, up to snuff for you. Okay, before we wrap this up, I want you to know that this video was not sponsored by or paid for by Electromechanica. I love the Solo. I reached out to them. I wanted to know how they make these electric cars. And they said, sure. And they gave me an unrestricted tour of the factory like you just saw. I thought that was so great. So I actually sent them a copy of this edited video before, before posting it. And they liked it so much that they wrote me back and said, anyone who puts their name on the reservation list for a car down below, and puts Downey Live in the comments or the how you heard about us section 
will, they will give me a hundred dollar credit towards my own solo. So if you're seriously considering buying a solo, go to the reservations list down below, put your name on it, and put Downey Live in the how you heard about us section, and I'll get a hundred dollar credit towards my own solo. So if enough of you do that, who knows? How cool would that be? Anyway, thank you guys again. Uh, let's go back to finish it up. I kept this as a really casual walkthrough of the factory, but I just still wanted to know how these things are made. The fact that they're made in Canada and, and so close to me, I, I think they're the neatest little car. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. It really does make a difference. Subscribe if you're new here. And I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. Thanks for watching. See you guys.